What up, my fellow Minecrafters? Uh, welcome back to another episode. I think it's episode 9. And we can say goodbye to this piece of crap house. Finally. Um, yeah, I broke it a little. Who cares? I've been cleaning up, getting ready to set out on our trip to a new settlement I found. And it's pretty nice, it's got a village right near it, so we can do some trading and some iron golem farms, we can get an iron golem, uh, iron farm. So, and this, as you can see, is um, somewhat of a mob farm, mainly just for getting ender pearls and stuff like that, But I got, which I got a few of, but like it drops any mob, except spiders. So... It's just at the right height for Enderman to die, so I got a few Ender Pearls from that, and actually I'll show you. Right here. And I'll show you why I'm trying to rush to the end here pretty soon, but we gotta set out. Okay. So the coordinate I have it written in my phone is negative 181. So it's more this way, and negative 1,892. So <laughs> we got a while to go. I'm just gonna leave my coordinates up. I might pause it, but I do need to switch over texture packs. Alright, it was getting a little laggy, so I had to come on. The chunks aren't loading very well. What was it? F F five and three? I don't know. Something some sort of weird combination of buttons that you click and reloads the chunks and stuff, but I don't know it. So, um, in the new biome, well, actually, a few biomes I found, it's got <coughs> mountains, desert, what's that? I don't know, it doesn't really matter, but it's got pretty much all the biomes we need, and I have, um, some ideas for, I guess you could say, for homes, and I also got a request for one I think I mentioned. <clears throat> yeah, and by the way, uh, I did have a humongous delay from last episode to now. I think it was like two weeks. So, yeah, sorry about that. My apologies, but I've been sick. I just got tested positive for strep throat. So, So, I've been feeling like crap all day, uh, all week, I mean, and uh been out of school, and when I'm in school, I'm taking lots of tests, and studying, like, mad, and I'm just really tired, and I haven't really had time and energy to make any videos, so, but I plan to get a few out this weekend, so that'll be good, get us going again, and get a new settlement, and good on that note the lag is tremendous I'm gonna pause it and go a few extra blocks so as you can see if you look at the Z coordinate you can tell that I'm about 500 blocks away from home or old home and we're not even halfway to our destination, so we got a while to go. I've been walking for about five minutes, but <clears throat> what I'm trying to point out is this jungle biome never ends. It goes all the way back and loops around to where our old base was. That's how annoying jungles are to me.
but um, the mountain biome that we're about to be in in another, I don't know, long time it has like no jungles near it or anything. But the only good thing about a jungle biome is the amount of wood you can get, which brings me to my next subject is I have a nice surprise for later in the video, probably not the end. I'm hoping to do a longer video. I don't have any fish. But yeah, it's pretty epic. We got three new things for us to do to show. Pretty exciting. And I think I'm just going to cut out until we get there because it's a while away. Note to self, it's a lot easier to move without a jungle biome. Swamp biomes are like. Oh shit. Gotta go quick. I got 31 levels on me that I don't want to lose. Okay, lagging again, not cool. Oh god, we made it, we made it, we made it. Finally, I got attacked so much. But we made it, we're here, we're at the huge mountain biome. No jungle biomes in sight, thank god. So, I'm hoping we can put down our ender. Oh, you prick. Okay. Well, put down our ender chests. Start building a little temporary hut until we get our real house going. We gotta get these chunks loaded or else we're gonna be lagging like mad. About to prevent a little bit more lag, I think I found the editing software I want to get. It's called Power Director 9, I think. I want to get that because I've been looking at it and it looks nice. And you can record from it as well, so I'm hoping it'll be less light than Bandicam, because Bandicam just sucks. I got it because it was free, and I wanted to start making videos because I find it fun. Ridiculous. This is fun. Okay, I gotta stop. This is gonna keep lagging. Fight's over. Sun's up. Now I'm like a kid in a candy store. Where? Where do I go? Where do I go? Up there? Over there? Down there? Stay up here? I don't know. I can't decide, but... Jungle biome. It's good because of the wood. I don't want to be too close to it yet. I don't want to be too far from it. That looks like a good spot. do this today. I want to get a little mini hut going and decide whether I don't know what house I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do like for at least the first house I want to do like a little Corrales house Minecraft like cool looking modern one. That's a good idea. Or mountain house eventually is what I was my plan. Ooh, I like that. We're going over there. We're going to go I'm hoping that eventually when these chunks load and they get used to me being here, they won't be laggy. Because this goddamn bandicam thing sucks. 
Okay, I'm back. Video kind of cut off, but I'm back up to the top of the mountain. I think I'm just gonna put like a temporary thing up here. But you ever have a full inventory inventory of cobblestone and just can't handle it? Too much space taken up. Well, I downloaded a mod that will take care of this. It's called the condensed blocks mod. Which lets you condense your cobblestone even further than you could believe. I think it goes up to like 7,000 blocks into one block or something, or 700, I think. Something like that. I don't know, I don't want to do the math. But you just keep condensing and condensing and eventually you get condensed cobblestone super condensed right there super condensed and let's see if I can get a bunch of those Okay, that should be enough. And you get extremely condensed. So, in this order. And believe it or not, actually, like, see how this takes forever to punch? These ones are quicker than wood. That's pretty nice. But, also, what's awesome about this mod, I'll condense all that later, is that you don't, it's not just stone, it can be with almost anything. Let's see, I condensed a ton of sugar cane, uh, let's see, oh, coal blocks, they're really cool looking. Like, I could use that in a build and they look really good. You can do it with redstone, you can do it with wood, stone, bricks, nether stone bricks, all that kind of crazy stuff. Anything almost. But that's just one of the mods. Another mod I got. Let's throw this back. I'll condense all that crap and then I'll show you the next one. Okay, the next mod. It's called the Timber Mod. I think most people know what that is, but if you don't know, say I have an axe in my hand. I have to cut down every single piece of every tree, pick up every piece. Well, no, I'm not dealing with that, no. So you just, boom, done. Where am I going? It pretty much makes wood cutting in the game a lot more like real life, because you know, you go to chop down a tree in real life, and it's common sense, it's gonna fall down, you know. So, this is what I do to collect wood. I have way too much wood to be doing this, but I just find it so fun. And two trees gives me two stacks of wood, and I've only used two of this axe, so you can even make a wooden axe seem sufficient. Just knock it down once and you get tons of wood. It's also good for like if you want to make a I don't know what you want to call it, a treehouse, yeah, that's it. And you want to cut off the top of it. 
I just cut like one piece and then everything from that above will cut. So if I like mine from here, it chops it off pretty much. It's like cutting hair. So yeah, pretty awesome mod. I got one more mod to show. Oh wait, another cool thing, but in other words, it could, in other days, you know, other circumstances, it could be a pretty bad thing, but I gotta get to the top again, so hang on. Okay, back at the top, but as I was saying, another good thing about this mod, in some cases, is say you want a ton of oak wood, but you don't want to chop down tons of oak trees. Well, if you have the condense mod, the condensed blocks mod, you just condense this block when it comes to condensed wood, and then you condense it and you get oak wood. So it's pretty much cheating away to get oak wood. So it's good and bad depending on if you want oak wood or jungle wood. But I'm going to use oak wood because I hate jungle wood, well, depending on the build. So yeah, there we go. Tons of wood. And one more mod. Pretty awesome mod, if you ask me. Um, only one problem is the reason why I made the Enderman trap is we need to get to the end. <sighs> yeah, big problem there. So we have enough, maybe, to send us to the stronghold. But even when we get to the stronghold, we're not ready to fight the dragon. We do not have the right equipment. I will show you the mod in creative. So, Uno Momento. Okay, we're over here in my creative world at my castle. And this mod is called the Dragon Mounts mod. Pretty much giving you your mountable dragon that you can fly around and help you fight mobs and all that. And it's just an awesome mod, and the mod creator did a fantastic job with this mod. And oh, my baby hatched. Um, they will breed. They can breed if you have two of them. And you'll get babies. You get eggs in here. And here's your juvenile. Yeah, I, I was playing around with them a little bit. But they have a pretty awesome mod. So pretty much what you do, I'm not really going to show everything, but you got your dragon, you give it your fish, it loves you. You give it a saddle, you ride it, you give it a bone, it sits down, you get another bone, it stands up, banquet tree. There's your mod. You have two of them, you give them both fish, they have sex, you get an egg, put the egg in your warm stuff, it hatches, you get another dragon, banquet tree. Pretty awesome mod. Can't wait for it to actually you know, happen. So, I want you guys to do me a favor and write in the comments encouragement, words of encouragement to get me closer to the end, work my butt off more than I already have to get to the end. I've been do doing a ton, a ton of mining getting really lucky with it, getting tons of diamonds and stuff, so make some diamond armor, get some enchanting, and we'll get to the end eventually within the next five episodes. I'm in a big rush to get there, so that's that. So I think I'm going to end this episode here pretty soon at least and then start the next one right from that I think make sure I'm still okay so just start the next episode after I upload this one and I'm gonna do two more videos tomorrow because I've been slacking so really want to get going with this so in the next episode I'll be making our temporary house and I'll be filling around with 
some of Corrales' uh, modern house builds. And then we'll do some farming and, I don't know, we'll start doing some pretty cool stuff around here. So, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for the short episode, but um, we're getting some progress done. So, let me know what you think, guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Uh, favorite, do all your kind things. And I will see you again soon. Rawr. Oh, my vagina. Oh, oh, there's my vagina. It's a very blocky vagina. Yeah, vagina.